This program is brought to you by the Caregiver Learning Academy, providing professional caregiver education and training in Southwest Colorado. Not so long ago, panhandlers in Durango were picked up by police, escorted to the edge of town, and asked not to return. That's because local ordinance banned begging on city sidewalks. But a series of federal court cases during the past couple of years have ruled that panhandling is considered free speech and laws banning the practice are unconstitutional. That has made it even more problematic for towns like Durango to stop begging, a practice that downtown business owners say is driving away their paying customers. The Durango Business Improvement District recently held a town hall and conducted a member survey to address the issue. More than 500 people participated. Last week, Executive Director Tim Walsworth presented a list of recommendations to the district's board of directors, emphasizing that no one magic bullet will eliminate panhandling. Rather, it will take a coordinated effort between the city of Durango, La Plata County, area human service agencies, and businesses to reduce the impact on the business district. We think there's an opportunity to uh, actually tweak an existing law where we'll hopefully make it illegal to sit or lie down on a sidewalk. Um, we want more police presence downtown and the new police chief has already said he's doing that and we actually see more officers downtown already. Uh, we want to work with the nonprofit community to do more outreach downtown. We want to be supportive of some place for folks to legally camp near town. That's an important piece of the puzzle as well. Our main thrust then is going to be trying to slow down uh, or even eliminate donations to panhandlers. And we believe, after working with nonprofits and people in need, uh, that the best way to help someone is not to give them a dollar, but it's to give to our local charities. So we're going to do a full court press uh, on putting that message out to the community. Although Durango recently passed an ordinance banning aggressive panhandling, Walsworth says the presence of even just a few passive panhandlers can have a chilling effect on commerce, particularly when several panhandlers gather in one spot. News producer Debbie Rota recently took a tour with Walsworth from 8th to 9th Street, a panhandling hotspot. There are some areas that are magnets, like right here. Uh -huh. This little recessed area all along here uh -huh. becomes a magnet for panhandlers. Uh -huh. Slightly covered, cops don't see them, they can do whatever they want. Um, and so we th we're thinking about working with property owners and putting a flower box or some beautification device right there. And it would literally take this particular spot out of rotation, so to speak, <laughs> and push people out into the sidewalk where that's not legal. You can't sit in the middle of the sidewalk, right? Walsworth's office overlooks Main Avenue, and he estimates about 20 panhandlers are regulars on the street. He's also careful to note that not all homeless panhandle and not all panhandlers are homeless. The city of Durango and the business district will be challenged to distinguish between those who genuinely need assistance and those who panhandle as a lifestyle. Well, and that's the rub, right? Trying to respect people as human beings uh, and their panhandling is not illegal so they have a right, everyone has a right to be on these sidewalks down here but uh, when, the, when those rights start impacting our businesses and their ability to sell goods that's a problem and so we have legal considerations business considerations human ethics and morals considerations and it's it's been tough to wrap a wrap, wrap a bow around that to see a full list of the recommendations, visit the Business District website at downtowndurango.org.